Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makana Man at YouTube with a, another modeling review tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the new line of Mr. Weathering Color, which is a Panaline slash sludge wash uh, line of inks in glass jars and very similar to the old Tamir panel line accent color. They're all enamel. They all come in with their own brush and the interesting things with these products they have a little ball bearing to help uh, stir it up. So we're going to look at the uh, consistency and do a sludge and panel line wash using these products on um, a fairly realistic uh, project my Bradley. So as you can see from the top we've got some pretty great colors a mud brown, a sand yellow and an orange. Uh, there's about seven or eight uh, colors from the range. These are the ones that I saw to be the most appropriate. Helps to have a bit of uh, tissue or toilet paper and we will look at doing a little bit of uh, uh, a pin wash of some of the reactive armor using the brown color. The uh, sand color would not contrast on this. The sand would probably be very good on your greens, browns, German grays, whatnot. And uh, your rust is anything that um, is really heavily worn and rusty. That's uh, interesting. There's uh, no uh, paint brush. Luckily that I always bring my own, unlike the panel line accent colour. And we'll ply a bit on a palette to see how thin it is. And it's actually quite thick. So what we're going to do is thin it down a tad further and we will use it as an actual sludge wash. To work as a sludge wash, so we're looking at shadowing underneath uh, the panels and details of this tank using a larger brush. Gonna have a few brushfuls into a small tray. And then we're going to thin it further with gum terps. Mineral terps will also work. I just like uh, gum terps being a tad more oilier and it dries a tad more slower. And you can see that when I apply it on the side of the surface, it just pretty much thins out and becomes almost translucent. It's so right on the side. We're going to just colour it in all of those um, reactive panels. To one colour. And then using a tissue, just ever so wiping it away, you get the excess off. Now the only problem is being a sand model, uh, there's not much in the way of contrast. So we're going to have to add a few other uh, colours and um, probably a tiny bit of black. So we're just going to brush it all over and it just gives our model a tad more definition. And you can see just uh, by adding it in some areas that uh, the panels already have uh, a much darker brown to it. And that the detail is just starting to pop out. And all of the uh, paint is just rushing all the way to the lowest points. And where it pulls and uh, gathers... merely brushing the tissue across which you can see a tiny build up of paint on the edges is collecting and there's a tad of improvement I just like to see a tiny bit of shadowing so once it's been applied all around I'm gonna get some uh, black thin that down even further just brush it across 
wipe back a bit and it should look a tad more interesting but um, at the moment it's working out quite nicely now for a panel wash with unthinned amount of paint we've got quite a bit on a smaller brush we're going to just apply it in these vents and you can see that it's uh, flooding out and it's making the whole pieces quite significantly dark. First we've done um, sludge wash, this is pin wash. So we've applied it into a small amount of detail and then we just pick up the added excess with the tissue. And then that way it's a bit darkened in those recesses. Now for the lower wheel wells we'll try the lighter sand colour and you can see how the darkened areas are picking up with detail and it looks like there's uh, small deposits of sand in uh, the rivets as well as the wheels and that's actually looking quite interesting at the moment so the mixing with the colours does bring for interesting results. You can see just dabbing and merely wiping back. And it's quite rich in detail. And we'll just do a little bit right in the front and the back, just only the under detail. Yep, not too bad. Quite interesting. Now I've got some panel line accent colour, so just another use of the Tamir stuff as uh, all of the other stuff is working out really well for Mr. Hobby. So I've got uh, thinned about one part ink to about uh, two parts thinner. So that means the original ink is going to come through. Um, get your brush loaded up, empty it a bit, and just apply. And immediately wipe it back and then you can see that the panels are quite significantly darkened so just again you load your brush a bit you empty a bit of thinner off it by touching the side and you just slowly whisk it across the surface sludge washing you can see it's pulling in all sorts of uh, areas so that was off cameras you can see that it's pulling off all these areas and you just mop it up gently for tissue and all that line has uh, picked up and the uh, previous thinner or the previous um, washes are coming through the black is coming through and it's quite nice it's very very subtle it's not too noticeable but there's enough of a uh, line that uh, it's seeable. So these tracks, you can see that the tracks had quite a bit of sand on it, put some black on it, and you can see that uh, the original inks are still coming through. And the black is just always good to add because it always adds um, that extra shadowing, that uh, definition, the uh, dirt in the panels, the uh, shadowing that the light's causing. And because it's really, really, really thin, we're talking about uh, one part ink to about yeah two to three part thinner. It just really recesses nicely in all the panels. And we'll show you. So that's originally with uh, all of the other Mr. Weathering colours and the other side. Just really, really bland. So yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of difference. And here is the finished result using a couple of the Mr. Weathering color washes for realistic modeling. And again, visiting and re-demonstrating the use of Tamir Accent uh, color, more so in the sludge wash 
than a panel line pin wash and uh, the results are very very subtle and you can actually see a lot of the really fine black lines as long as as well as variations in color so it just makes the detail pop it makes it a tad more interesting and uh, it, it, it's sort of uh, it's very tricky with these all sand color uh, modern day uh, armored fighting vehicles to make them a bit interesting and a bit uh, box art um, box artish and uh, yeah that is the result fin it down further apply white back or you can use it quite solid and run it down a fairly large seam if you're interested in the pin washing go back to the panel line accent color original review uh, for the most effective way of sludge washing, the more and more subtle you want to be, just thin it down further. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time, catch you guys later.